Hey uh, YouTube, Monkey here. So today I'm going to cover a little bit about talents, uh, gear, and basically the stats that you want to uh, focus on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pop into the talents here. Um, so my, we're going to pull up my combat talents, which you're going to notice everything's going to be on the left side, which you can probably figure out. The key to remember, first and foremost, is attack is primary, health is your secondary, and defense is the least important uh, when you have a choice between the three. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we've got, we're gonna max the squad offense one. Each of these, you're only gonna put three points in to move on to the next one when you don't need whatever it is. So cavalry, we're gonna go just three points, gets us to the range. So I can max range, max infantry. Defense, we're only gonna put three points in, remember, we only put what we have to in defense when we have a choice. Health max, range max, infantry max, cavalry. Only the five that's required. Infantry max, again cavalry, just the five that's required. Ranged max, and health max. Okay, that leaves us with 22 extra points. Now, we didn't have to put anything in this defense. And if you wanted to, you ultimately could put the 22 points in the third troop type, the highest one, the level three of it, uh, if you wanted to. But, because I'm working on the uh, notion that you have multiple talents, uh, talent pages, if you wanted to have your third troop type focused, you could switch talents uh, in your talent book. Uh, so, you saw what we had maxed, and instead of putting points into the defense here, and the reason I say defense instead of the third type is because if I'm using ranged or infantry, I'm going to be using this talent tree. Uh, and the defense works for both types of troops, let alone the third type. So if we put 12 points here, that's going to give us 12.25. That would leave us 10 points to put into the other defense, which is 4.5. So 12.25 and 4.5 is 16.75. Or we can put all 22 points here, and that gives us 18. So, you can do the math there. You get a few percent extra for putting them all, all 22 points into the uh, defense uh, number two. Say we wanted to do cavalry infantry. We're going to go ahead and click through that one real quick. So we'll max cavalry here. Just the three required for ranged. Max that. Max our health, just what's required, which is five. Do, 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 do. We're going to go ahead and max that one and that one. Five points and max that. There's our 22 extra points. We can put it wherever we want. I would say put it in your defense for the 18%, just because it applies to both the troops that you are building this tree for. Um, ultimately, there's a couple different combinations, so you would need multiple talent pages. You just switch between them when you're doing what you're, uh, what you're planning to do, uh, what you're planning to use when you're attacking. Now the question is, should you switch to a tree that has defense maxed for when you're getting attacked? No, because defense, offense, and health, all three apply whether you're attacking or defending. So your attack and your health stats need to be as high as possible no matter what. Defense just gets kind of whatever's left over in all that. So we also have a non-combat side. You're going to put just your minimums to move down to the next level. Max your construction and research and your training speed. Continue putting minimums. There's your construction and research again and your training speed and that'll end it for the left side. On the right side, you keep putting minimums to get to where you want to be for your level 3. Uh, now everybody should be uh, one resource specialization. And what that means is you all your talents are set into one type of resource. Whether it's wood, stone, or ore. And eventually you could just switch it to gold like I did. Um, I was ore spec and making over a million an hour. With switching it from ore to gold, 
I'm only at 550,000 ore an hour, but I'm also up to above uh, 250,000 gold per hour. And gold is key, especially with these T4 troops, how expensive they are. Um, that one I'll leave up to you. Just please do not be one of the guys who focuses on making food. You should never have more than one farm, just your four main ones here in the middle, and the rest should all be the same. If you wanted to split it in between two or three types, I guess so be it. Nobody can stop you. <laughs> but if you have a couple of people that you're working with uh, in your guild, each of you have your own resource specialization, then you just trade between one another. Like I said, I moved all my ore to gold, and this is without boosts, without my gear on for production, uh, and just with the heroes that give me the ore boost, which is Death Archer and Tracker. And she's going gold right now, so that's going to bump also. That'll be nice. Okay, so the second part of it is your gear. Having more than one set can also, become in, also come in handy. So I have the Gargantuan Belt here, which gives me the Cavalry, uh, but it also has the Defense stat. The Legs of the Deceiver, you know, they are better for my ranged, and they have an army attack, so these would be better for most applications, unless I'm using almost a pure Cavalry uh, layout. Which brings me to the next point, the jewels that you put in there. You don't want to put defense jewels in there if you have attack jewels or health or like I said those are the three big ones that you want to focus on so let's just take a look at what what's available I did not mean to do that do, 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 do. view okay so inlay so let's take a look uh, Trojan so max health travel speed health is our second most important stat but that's pretty low. So let's look down here at our main ones. So here's an attack. If you have the opportunity to combine four into the next one, do it. If you can only put, if you had four greens to put in these four items, that is better than turning it into blue and only having it in one. Because 3% four times is 12. Or you just get the one at 6%. But if you have enough, make sure that you uh, combine them and put them in. Like I said, four threes would be 12. But if you could put one 6% here and two 3% here, that's 12. Then your, your last item doesn't have anything. You broke out even. So then as soon as you get another 3% or so, you're already ahead in that fourth item. Just something to keep in, keep in mind. Uh, not as important since you can remove them for a uh, hefty little fee. Uh, just please remember to put in your attack, your health, and then your defense is only if you don't have attack or health uh, jewels. Also, a blue jewel is better than a white jewel if the blue is defense and the white is attack or health. In my opinion, you may feel different. The last thing I want to go over is your heroes looking at their boost okay so an army attack boost if it applies to your entire army it will always it, it's better to use than something that only applies to range per se if you're going to use multiple types of troops so you might have a written down list over next to you for what types of heroes for what types of army you're going to use if you're doing just an army uh, attack, well, Tracker would be better than Rose Knight. Even though Rose applies to the whole army, I'm only using ranged, so we want to use Tracker. If you're using multiple troops, focus on those army boosts. Again, pay attention to the attack and health, because those two are key. Have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. But I probably did. Oh yeah, one last thing, the formations. Okay, so if you're going up against infantry, you want to use your cavalry. But infantry counters archers, so maybe you would do the wedge instead. Put the archers in the back, 
lets you kill as many of those infantry before they can before your archers even get there to the infantry. Um, you kind of apply that same tactic depending on what your composition is versus what the other team's composition is. Um, so focus on getting those wedges. It makes a huge difference, and that will come in another video showing you the exact percentages. Anyways, I'm his pet monkey. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, long live K9.